Hey, happy Thursday, everybody. Mark again here at Weatherman Plus. I'm going to give you the latest tropical update on what is going on. Matter of fact, I'm seeing a new pattern starting to emerge. Instead of having a high pressure that's going to be right here, and so far is shown by the control member of the Euro that the wave will start going in this direction. Showing on the new information that not only is the high pressure is going to be there, that it's going to be a growing high pressure and this wave could potentially be going into this direction soon. Matter of fact, I'm watching two tropical waves at the moment, still watching that sneaky one going on. It's still showing some rotation in the atmosphere, still not showing a lot of strength with it. I still don't trust it on what's going on. And we have a second one going in that same direction. So I'm gonna give you the latest information on what is going on in the tropics. That way you can stay up to date. Right now we do have favorable environment moving through the Eastern Pacific, but soon this is gonna start moving in this direction. And these tropical waves are gonna start being stronger and become our hurricanes, tropical storms, even stronger potentially coming our way as we go towards the end of July and the first and two weeks of August is going to be very active. So if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year long with weather forecasting and during hurricane season, I do updates in the afternoon, keep people as safe as possible. We try and teach safety as much as possible here. Thank you all so much for all the likes you put on the last video. Let's get into your information on this video. And I will make this video as short as possible. It's just going to be a quick update on the last information I have given you. And you can see here from your MJO that you have the favorable environment Environment really moving through as you go towards the end of July. This is where we have formation expected so far. So far, no threat towards you with Hawaii. They do mile down. But you can see as you go towards the end of July, the beginning of August, our favorable environment is going to start moving through, especially the first week in August. And this is right where these tropical waves are going to start forming up and moving in towards lower 48 into the Caribbean, messing with a lot of people and staying there as we go by the first 10 days of August. A very strong period about to come through. Now, so far, there's nothing still for the next seven days with National Hurricane Center. Literally, this wave that we need to watch, we have a tricky one within a four or five day period going by Florida. But we also have a very strong wave that's going to be coming off in four or five days off the MDR, off the coast of Africa. And this is the one that's going to bring us our potential issue. You can see here from an update on global tropics. They're still expecting some kind of formation in the eastern Pacific as we go all the way to the end of July. But once we go all the way in towards August, the very beginning of August and end of July, you can see they're expecting formation in the eastern Pacific also also expecting it in this area over here in the Caribbean, right where we're getting all that favorable environment. And someone mentioned that the waters were way too cold. Nothing was going to form, but I don't know where you got that information from. That is not true. Our waters are very warm, even right here in the Eastern Pacific for formation to form. There is a lot of above average temperatures kicking in. The Caribbean, the Atlantic, it is ready for any tropical waves. I don't know where this cold water come from. Here's no cold water. It is very warm water in the tropics. So you see the latest update on your precipital water that we have a tropical wave coming off literally in five to six days tops. And we still have another tropical wave that's going to be a potential sneaky wave that's going to be passing by. It's still fighting with the high pressure, it's still fighting with the dust, and maybe forming up very late right before Florida. So far, the modeling isn't taking anything with that. But that wave that comes off the coast of Africa in four or five days, six tops, starts going towards our favorable environment as we go towards the 30th. This is right where we start getting favorable environment moving through. And this starts headed right towards Florida and starts forming up late. And that seems to be what the trend is as we go towards the end of July to begin of August. That's when the dust starts weakening down, thinning out, and everything really gets active. Late formation and rapid intensification is what it is looking like. So you can see here that we have multiple waves popping up late. This is the one that's coming off in five or six days off the coast of Africa. This was the sneaky one that starts coming around. And you can see literally both of them start forming up and going around this high pressure right here. Showing this one would potentially go around, maybe do something, maybe not. But showing that this one that did show that path previously, the high pressure expands out and it goes further towards the west. The high pressure expands out and keeps shoving that further towards the west and that's where it starts intensifying in the last days you can see the same thing by the gfs you get a sneaky wave that starts forming up getting some rotation as you go literally by the 25th 
as it goes by Florida. Then we get that one off the coast of Africa. But as it goes by Florida, so far just bringing y'all a lot of rainfall. I will keep my eyes on that. The trend on that is that it's fighting a high pressure. It may try and form up real quick and then weaken down very quickly. But still, I want to watch it. I do not trust it, especially after a barrel. And then that next one that forms up. As that goes in, you can see the same thing with the GFS. GFS takes it where it's about to get spun around by this high pressure. But if you watch it, it just expands the high pressure and keeps pushing all that to the west. Even get some formation going into the Gulf of Mexico from a front-induced low right there as we go into that. So there's multiple factors we can take into that. Right after this wave starts moving towards the west, we do have this front that comes through potentially. Now this would put a lot of shear on a wave. This would weaken a wave down also. So that would be good news. That would be what we should vote for. We should never cheer for these things to form up and be something strong. But I'm still seeing a lot of vorticity in the atmosphere. This is going to be very tricky, but I am seeing some late formation is going to be our trend. Because you can see on the precipital water, that first wave, even though it has rotation, it's, it's hard for it to get a lot of moisture before it's too late and it gets pulled around by the high pressure. And then that second one, you can see it's still getting choked out by the dust. Not a lot of precipital water around that wave, but still you can see it's trying to rotate around. Then it gets hit with that cold front, potentially weakening this down. This is still further down the road. If this still shows true, that would be great news. It would just bring more rainfall. That would pretty much be historic. We're going into august and just bring rainfall that would be great i'm showing this is going to be two concerning waves we need to watch for so far showing as that wave comes off the mdr it will have some dry air aloft all the way up to the 500 millibar level so it'd be choking that wave off but once it gets away and starts going into the caribbean then it's going to start getting precipitation around it and then something could possibly form out of that wave so far it's showing it will be weak because of dry air getting entangled with it but once it gets away from the mdr anything's still possible and showing in the latest update the latest control member of the euro still shows it forms it right there by the leeward islands and as it goes to the west instead of going around the high pressure the high pressure expands now it starts headed more for Florida and Georgia and South Carolina as that comes in. So it's bringing it a little bit further to the west than the previous update. And you can see the update here still showing it will get some kind of strengthening as it passes by the Caribbean. Shows it will start weakening down a little bit but then intensify right before landfall and showing it a little bit further towards Florida and Georgia and South Carolina. Not so much to the northern side. And right when we go from July to August, this is right where we start seeing these systems form where they can go right on around, go right across Florida, or stay weak and carry further to the west. Still showing that we have favorable environment as we go by the 20th and the 21st. So we still need to watch that tropical wave, even though it shows weak formation, just a lot of rainfall. Something could still come out of that as it's getting spun around by the northeast, trying to go into the Atlantic. And then you can see we still have all this favorable environment coming right to our region as we go towards the end of July to the very beginning of August. Showing that all this thick dust that we have now, as we go towards the end of July, it will not be there. That's going to start weakening down and thinning out. And we are just getting started. Look at this. Going right in towards August. We are literally just getting started. We have a whole lot more to go before this even starts modeling down. We are literally going past the first 5% of our hurricane season. Now, we do have some storms that's going to be moving in for North Carolina for today. Also, for the Central Plains, as you go through later tonight and overnight. Neither one of these is bringing chances for tornadoes. This is just going to bring some chances for some wind and some slight hail as that comes through for this evening. That's not bringing any big threat for anyone. Still showing the biggest threat that y'all have for the next few days is going to be the heat. You still got the cool nights coming in. You still have the heat coming in and you still got all the heavy rainfall that's still coming in from this pattern I showed you days ago. Still no big worry. Just watch out for possible flooding. I will keep you updated on what's going on in the tropics. So far I'm showing our pattern is starting to shift a little bit further to the west which wouldn't be good for the Gulf of Mexico or towards Florida. It'd be better towards the east coast potentially. 
I will keep you updated. Thank you so much for your time, everybody. And I hope you have a great day today. I just want to give you a quick update on what was going on. I did post in my community tab yesterday that I was taking yesterday off. Because we're about to go into a ramped up part of our season. And I'm going to be busy. And I won't be able to spend no time with them at all. So I took yesterday off while it was still relatively quiet. Real quick before you go today. Hebrews 12. 1 through 3. Always keep your eye on Jesus. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest ye be wearied and faint in your minds. Amen. I wish the best for every single one of y'all. Hope you have a very great day today. And remember, all glory does go to God, our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life and forever. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day, everybody.